Iran is developing new missile systems to ensure that Washington would need to stay far away from Tehran's coast in a conflict. And that is why the Gator missile is so important, according to this expert, the Gator, Abel, missile is described by Iranian officials as the most powerful and precise missile in its Navy's arsenal. The medium-range anti-ship cruise weapon is an upgraded version of the Nur missile and was initially debuted by Iran's Navy in 2011. With a range of 200 kilometers, the Gator was designed to defeat large surface combatants in the Persian Gulf. Last year, Iran launched a comprehensive set of war games encompassing all branches of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC. Testing and testament to the Gator missile among the barrage of missiles fired during the exercises was the Gator. The commander of the IRGC's Qadam al Anbiya Central Headquarters described the intent behind launching the anti ship cruise missile as a method to preserve the territorial integrity of Deir Iran, as well as the position and power of the region, against the coalition of enemies, and specifically the coalition of the United States and the Zionist regime. The development of the Gator missile coincides with Iran's recent uptick in its missile production. While Iran claims the Gator is entirely indigenously produced, it is based on two of the regime's older missiles, which are copies of a Chinese prototype. The Gator is an enhanced version of the Nur and Nasser missiles. Iran's Nur long-range anti-ship cruise missile is a reverse-engineered variant of the People's Liberation Army's C-802 anti-ship missile. When Iran became China's first importer of its own anti-ship cruise missile in 1995, the U.S. pressured the People's Liberation Army PLA, to halt deliveries to the increasingly hostile country. At this point, Tehran had already acquired 60 C-802s and was able to successfully reverse-engineer the missile. Iran's Nasser missile is an enhanced variant of China's C-704 anti-ship missile. Impressive range. The Gator features a range of capabilities that make it the Iranian Navy's premier missile including its high-precision navigation system, digital autopilot system, and advanced radar system. The missile uses a solid rocket booster, accelerating the weapon in its initial phase. Once the first phase is complete, the Gator's turbojet sustainer propels the missile through its second phase. According to its military officials, Iran's improvements on the Gator missile have proved successful. In its annual Wargum exercise in 2021, the Gator missile reportedly hit its intended target at a distance of more than 200 kilometers. The spokesperson of the military drills stated that today's Iran's army cruise missiles have special capabilities, including effective high-explosive warheads and electronic warfare operations. He added that with the unveiling of the long-range cruise missile, a giant step will be taken in missile capability of the army and also defense doctrine of the Islamic Republic of Iran. In the last decade or so, Iran's regime has emphasized the development of its missile arsenal. While Iran's leadership claims its expanding weapons program serves solely as a deterrent, its actions and rhetoric prove otherwise. The IRGC supplies its proxies across the region with weapons, including missiles and rockets. The Gator will likely fall into the hands of Iranian-backed militias throughout the Middle East, if it is not already. Gator and Gator naval cruise missiles were successfully launched 23 February 2019, on the second day of Belay at 97 drills in the Sea of Oman and the Indian Ocean. The United States has to stay away from these missiles in the Arabian Sea. This makes it possible for Iran to control the Strait of Hormuz and not allow it to navigate the flotilla. One of the main strategies of Iran has been the closure of the Strait of Hormuz. The closure of the Strait of Hormuz threatens global energy security, and by reducing the export of oil and raising its prices, the costs of the war with Iran have pushed not only the United States, but also the entire world. Does. The United States would need to enter the Omani Sea to open the Strait of Hormuz and take control of it. Deploying the U.S. fleet at a distance of at least 1,000 kilometers from the Omani Sea coast can cause many operational problems. One of these problems is that U.S. Navy fighters do not have enough range. 
FA-18C Fighter Hornet has a 550 km range with standard ammo load, which means it will refuel again to reach its target, and refueling will be done again in an area that is unsafe for pilots. To increase the range, it is necessary to reduce the loading of ammunition on the fighter, but this will cause the Americans to increase the number of their flying sorties for the intended purpose to reach the desired result, but this increases the risk of flying.